So I've decided to go back to the beginning and just review what we knew from the beginning. I know other than Sammy's interviews, Kylie's mom's interviews were the most substantial from the beginning as well as Mag's. Now, I'm just working from scratch and I hadn't watched this in a few weeks so I decided to rewatch it and then I figured I'd do a reaction on it and just see if I catch anything that I might have missed back then because so much was going on. This isn't because I think Sammy's necessarily suspect number one. It's just an analysis and I don't, yeah, I'm not making any assumptions. I'm just reviewing it. But if I do see something strange, I'm going to point it out. So here we go. Hi. And it's, Sammy, thank you so much. For, I know you've been super busy and um, it's an honor. It's a privilege to have you. I'm sorry for the circumstances, but I know you're. Okay, first off, I know this guy, now he has over 11,000 subscribers, but at this time he only had like 5,000. Not only, not that that's a small number, that's an amazing achievement. However, I'm trying to say that um, maybe he hadn't done a lot of these interviews yet. So for, I just thought it was weird. He said it's an honor and a privilege. That's kind of strange. Um, I mean, she's just a witness to a potential horrible accident or a crime. So, yeah, I don't know about that. You're super busy. You're pressed for time. So uh, let's get to it. I, I know you've been repeating yourself all day, but what's the latest? Uh, tell us who Kylie Rodney is. Um, go ahead. I'll let you have the stage. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> thank you, Kylie. No, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're welcome. I know, you, I know you're super busy. I know you got to be tired. I know you've been busy. Yeah. Uh, I followed you at the press conference today and I know you're, you're a busy girl. And I, I, I just want to say, I really admire what you're doing. You're, it's an amazing, you're amazing young, you're only 18 years old, right? Yeah. You're, I'm 18. It's, it's, it's outstanding for a young girl your age to, uh, but but anyway, nonetheless, I, I know you're pressed for time and everybody's wanting to know what's the. She's 18, right? I mean, there's been rumors back and forth about her being 22. And just for context, this party or this interview was five days after the party. This is August 11th or maybe it could have been the 10th. It was uploaded on the 11th. I don't know if it was done late night. Um, But yeah, so either about five to six days after, just for context. Latest, what is, uh, well, I'll let you take it from the top. Who's who's Kylie Rodney? Uh, let's go back to the beginning, I guess, real quick. Just give us a, a rundown. Totally, yeah. So Kylie is one of my close friends. Uh, we met through mutual friends and we became closer in the past year to coming months recently. And she is just, so I believe that they were not close until recently again. Maybe they knew each other back in the day and then got back in touch. Um, the rest of it seems a little forced. Maybe she's on autopilot. Maybe she's tired. But where she starts in going into her being a light, um, it seems a little superficial. Um, but I do believe the part where she says that she's beautiful. I believe she thinks that a light in a lot of people's lives she's wonderful she's she's smiling all the time she's caring she's beautiful she's there for anybody who has ever needed her she's very outgoing she's outdoorsy too she loves the water she loves to sing her voice is just amazing too and <laughs> she's just a beautiful girl and we all miss her a lot and so yeah i'm, I'm sure uh it's probably add um and she's tired but whoever walks by look at her eyeball and Look at her face right there. I wonder who the person is. I'm going to put an arrow to them. It's probably nothing, but it's funny. You saw her at the party, right? You were at the party with her? Yes, I was the last person to contact her after the party, and I was with her basically throughout the entire party. I was, I, um, sorry, I was no, it's walking okay. it's around okay. with her. And I, know you, I know you got See, just could be ADD or exhaustion, but whoever that was kind of tripped her up. She even apologizes. And so far we have that she was, she just said she was with Kylie the entire party and was walking around with her. So just making note of that. A lot going on. I, I yeah. get it. There's, I'm at the team to team meetup. So there's a lot of. No, I, I, <laughs> everybody's wanting to talk to you. And, and like I said, I greatly appreciate every minute I have with you. Uh, yeah. Can you take a quick look? at? Don't, don't blow her head up too much, Tony. <laughs> Jeez. This photo. 
Is yeah. this what she can you confirm whether or not she was wearing this at the night of the party? Is that what she was wearing? Yeah, so that top is exactly what I saw. And if you can see on her left side on her hip, you can see some skin. She was wearing a black bodysuit. I remember mm -hmm. because we went to the bathroom together, peed in the woods together a couple of times. And so that's her shirt right there. The pants were different that she wore to the party. She was wearing green Dickies pants, but that belt is definitely what she's wearing too. See, now everybody's been saying those are the green Dickies pants. And I've seen people say, I don't see how those are green. Well, because according to Sammy, they're not. They're not the pants that she was wearing to the party. So now she was wearing different pants entirely than what the majority has been thinking she was wearing. According to Sammy. I remember watching her have to take it off when we were using the restroom together. We were out using the outdoor restroom as like okay. popping squat, basically. So, yeah. That and was just released from the... Uh... Placer County Sheriff's Office, uh, this this picture, I just found it on their mm -hmm. on their uh, Facebook page. Yeah. Um, so there's talk about this 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 uh, top, the spaghetti straps top. Some people are saying it was it was found at the area. Is that can you confirm that or? Is that yeah. So that has not been confirmed. If it has not been posted on our Find Kylie Rodney Instagram page or on the website or on the Placer County Sheriff's Office. So there's a sure way for misinformation. She's saying. Unless it's posted on the Fine Kylie Instagram page, it's not verified information. But then when AWP reported finding Kylie, she demanded that it wasn't true. So, yeah, that's a little messy. And it was confirmed that the tank top was found. It wasn't confirmed whether or not it was Kylie's, but it was confirmed that it was found. And right there she says not to believe it unless it's posted on Fine Kylie or anything then it is not true and it is not something that people should be following on or trusting the information will be posted and will be coming from us when it is confirmed so to let people know what to look out for if a change now i saw for myself that the placer sheriff's department responded to people asking about jagger and sammy both saying to run information through them first that they were both working with the sheriff's thing quote unquote and that that was false that people are not to go to them first or um, to equate it to giving information to the sheriff's department. I believe that the sheriff's department should have made a direct message about that. I and mean, maybe I missed it, but um, yeah, it's clear that she was definitely trying to um, control some of the narrative or communications and is strictly saying whether or not things are verified or confirmed when she only has the audacity to think that they're sharing every little thing with her. It's not, was never released by the sheriffs that she was like a working agent or something, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Changed shirt or something. So yeah, that has not been confirmed. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Um, so at the night of the party, the last time you saw her, uh, can you tell us about, I guess the, give us a rundown of the party real quick. What, I, I understand it was a large gathering. Yeah, so it was supposed to be a senior farewell party where all, all the seniors and everybody from around our area, like Tahoe and Truckee and Incline and Kingsbeach were supposed to be there. They were invited there because um, it was supposed to be like saying goodbye to your favorite seniors before everybody starts going off to college because soon enough here people are going to start leaving and moving out. And so Kylie's a senior or she was like, she graduated early, so she's considered a senior and I was a senior. So every senior was initially invited to the party. Initially invited? Was that invitation retracted or that's strange wording? And as well, um, all grades were invited just to so that it was they could say goodbye. So I had talked with Kylie and I'd known she was going beforehand. We hadn't planned on going together and we ended up not going together. She came with her best friend Mags, uh, Mags Larson. Magdalene, sorry, is her first name. Yeah, um, that's okay. Yeah, and so she came with her, drove in with her, and then um mags ended up leaving about 10 minutes into the party with her boyfriend ross mags's boyfriend and um told kylie goodbye and everything and they were never planning on like leaving together or staying together at the party they just went to the party together because they were hanging out earlier in the day and then um so now according to sammy right there mags was also hanging out with kylie earlier that day now i guess kate could have too but we also heard this and i'm going to insert the clip on Friday, just hours before she disappeared. The day of the party, I hung out with her. We made creme brulee. She was, I mean, everything was normal. I don't think she ran away or um, I saw her the second she got there, and from that moment on, we were pretty much seen together all around the... 
So to go from that, she saw Kylie as soon as she got to the party and they were seen together throughout the party. And it's going to seem like she's speaking extremely fast and she is speaking pretty fast, but it's also at 1.25 party we would break off for mere moments from each other to go talk to other people or to go do other things you know but we we would always come back to each other we were um just going around the party we were drinking the same drinks being teenagers throwing glow sticks into the party and it started to grow really big i would say around 10 to 10 30 it just blew up like it started to get to the point where i was getting overwhelmed and i'm a very social person i've been to a lot of these parties i've never been overwhelmed i've actually been underwhelmed but at this party it was it was very large like it was bigger than any party wow. we've had in Truckee all year and for a lot of years past there are people from what we think Sacramento San Francisco I remember talking to somebody who was from San Francisco wow. Reno Folsom areas that were just way out of reach from it and it was really overwhelming and weird to see but I didn't really think much of it I just thought oh kids are around here they have vacation homes up here they're just coming to party because why not so then Kylie and I were going around taking shots and just drinking we were trading drinks with each other we were sharing drinks with each other we would go back to her car to get some alcohol sometimes. And then we went to her car to charge her phone and we were talking about um, just random stuff. And then she says random stuff right there. Now she could just not want to say what they were talking about or say what they were doing. If they're maybe, I don't think she was doing drugs, but if uh, that's what they were doing, because to think about them going to Kylie's car for alcohol, doesn't make sense to me when we see their bar areas now. I mean, we only see Truly cans in Kylie's car, so unless they were going to get one of those specifically, it doesn't make sense to me that that was the bar, Kylie's car. Charging the phone, maybe, even though her phone was dead later on, so that also kind of doesn't make sense. But, um, yeah, if there were shots and stuff elsewhere, why would they be doing that in Kylie's car specifically? I guess that just doesn't make much sense to me. And by her not having done drugs, I mean Kylie. For some reason, I don't think she did drugs. If she did, it was weed, in my opinion. It's kind of hard to remember. And so, or no, we were talking about um, her texting her mom and her charging her phone and stuff and just about the party in general. And then we had a few other friends in the car and then we all decided to go back to the party and we were around in there for a bit. I had asked her for a ride home when we were in the car because my ride was leaving and I wanted to stay at the party longer. And so then we ended up... Um, splitting up in the party because I went to go find another ride when we got back into the party after leaving the car so that we could so she was just saying they went to the car then there were some other friends in the car and then it was just her at another time her and Kylie at another time and they talked about Kylie giving Sammy a ride home but then as soon as they went back to the party they split up so that Sammy could go find another ride home okay be better if she just said look I drank some alcohol and I don't remember every detail instead of these like strange ambiguous storylines um sorry my mind is in a moment no, that's, okay. that's okay that's uh, okay I, I want to take a couple of questions here real quickly uh Nola in the chat wants to ask you who was fighting at the party uh the girl and the guy look into them there's there was, a, was there a fight at the party yeah so there were some friendly fights that were going on there was like we had boxing gloves people were like trying to instigate it wasn't anybody who had really any drama or they no. weren't enemies or anything. It was more just friendly fights to keep entertainment going. This happens at a lot of our parties. We just do it to have fun. If somebody gets hurt, like we have people on them. But it's so just it wasn't. It wasn't. Everything. It wasn't like a fight out of anger. It was just kind no. of a kind of a uh, just a fun competition type of fighting. Yeah, just see I, who wins and who goes home with the title. Which I will finally <laughs> admit, people do end up getting in fights over who won, but not this time. Uh, Daniel Taylor and uh, Nola, thank you for that. Everybody psychoanalyzes her saying but not this time. And that's one thing I actually believe her about. She doesn't have any stuttering or relapsing or like uh, stumbling upon her words when she said about the fighting, they said it's for entertainment, it's friendly fighting. I actually believe that. And I don't think it had anything to do with anything. I get no bad vibes from her telling that part of the story. Comment, D uh, Daniel Taylor's in the house. D Daniel Taylor wants to ask you, did Kylie have her boyfriend or an ex-boyfriend with her at the party? No, there was no ex-boyfriend there. Her ex-boyfriend lived in Napa. He was in Napa at the time, and I think he lives in Napa. And he actually drove up the next day, the second he heard that she was missing. He's very close with her family and her. There was no anything. And she does not currently have a boyfriend. She was rocking the single life, like I, like we used to say. She just <laughs> wanted to be. 
rocking the single life like we used to say. That's the first time I've heard her use past tense and that creeps me out a little bit. I don't know when she could have meant otherwise other than right now being past tense. Like, did they say it months ago? That's just a little odd. Uh, Open and single and yeah, have fun as a kid. I get it. She's only 16. She's just a baby. I, I just can't even imagine. How's mom doing? Have you talked to her mom at all? Yeah, so uh, I've been in close contact with the family. Um, uh, now, I do believe that Kylie was single. I think she broke up with Jagger. Why exactly? We don't know for sure. But that's true. I think that she was choosing to be single, if not had chose to be single previously. How how they doing? She looked like just a nervous wreck. I, I can't I can't even imagine what she's going yeah. through. Yeah. Uh, our thoughts I mean, and prayers are. With, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Continue. I'm sorry. No, I just say I was going to say our thoughts and prayers are with the family. Uh, this it's going to be a hard time. Um, what can we do to help? What can the public do? The the web sleuths out there. What what can we do to help and help find uh, Kylie? What can we do to well, help you? To everyone at this point around the world, I'm hoping that this is reaching. And if anybody's seeing this, just if they can keep sharing this, get the story out to neighbors and friends and family and local news stations and local newspapers and posting flyers, making flyers, screenshotting and somehow making flyers. We need this information to spread everywhere. We're trying to get posters everywhere, information everywhere, just trying to have everybody in the world at this point looking for Kylie and just trying to find Kylie. And if anybody sees... Everyone in the world looking for Kylie while she sits there and allegedly Kylie is 600 yards away in the water. It's awful to think about. If she was placed there or if she did go into the water right at the party, I mean. Is anything to report it immediately to the sheriff's to police, the Placer County Sheriff's Office or the numbers that have been loaded on. There's been a lot of trouble and frustration with people about the tip line, but they have to understand that there's a thousand people in there working, getting millions of calls a day now. Um, um, I, yeah. I know I know you had stated that, uh, you know, we're she states they're getting millions of calls a day while the PIO lady was begging for information, begging people to come forward and saying that the kids know something, but nobody was coming forward. So that's a little contradictory. I'm not trying to create any any rumors, but there was something on the Facebook page that I, I wanted to see if maybe you can if you can uh, comment on this. It says two days ago on the neighbors app at one o'clock in the morning, a topless female was being chased by a Honda CRV and was pulled back into the vehicle in Sacramento, California. That's about an hour and 38 minutes away from Prosser Campground. Kylie drives the Honda CRV or tank top was possibly found at the scene. I know we, we just we just discussed that. We, we can't verify that that is true. Down the road from the uh, there's some other so saying her tank top was found uh, at the scene down the road from the Prosser campground. Now, this part is partially why I wanted to go over the interview, too, because we've forgotten about this. And the sheriff's department said that it was not her. I don't some other people said it was a prank. I don't know. Um, but how strange that this happens at the same time. With the same car. So crazy. And did anyone ever verify who the other female was? Was that verified? Maybe if so, you can say in the comments. If not, that's going to bother me. The timestamps could be off due to a camera clock being accurate or inaccurate. But I don't know if, if do you, is there anything you can comment on that? Yeah. So we are investigating into that currently from my knowledge of the detectives. And when I was first re-listening to this, I swore she said, or the other detectives, like calling herself a detective, but I re-listened to it three times and I turned on subtitles and she says of the detectives. So the detectives must have been giving her information or she's claiming they did and that it wasn't discussed yet, but she's insinuating they give her information. That's a little scary. Um, it has not been confirmed nor denied that if that is Kylie, but we do not believe that her shirt has not been found. I can confirm that her shirt was so, not found, nor were any articles of her clothing at all. Okay. So, okay. I want to, uh, let me, let's repeat that. The spaghetti strap shirt that was, was claimed to have been found that that was not hers. No, was it was hers. not hers. It was investigated by the FBI and the cops and okay. everything. Not. Thank, thank you so much for clarifying that. So the spaghetti yeah. strap shirt, the, the top that was found that did not belong to Kylie Rodney. Thank you uh, for that, Sammy. Yeah. Uh, so I can't, uh, uh, I mean, so now the, now when we watch a press conference, the police uh, were saying that they're trying to get everyone that was at that party to come forward. Uh, so, so should we tell, you know, should we, should we get that message out as well to everybody that was at that party that they need yeah. who do they contact? Um, well, I've been in charge, not in charge, but I've taken on the responsibility of trying to get in contact with everybody at that party. I've. 
So she wasn't given the position of being in charge. She's taken on being in charge or the responsibility of getting into contact with everyone at the party. How is that not potentially obstructing or even tampering? Shaking my head. Posted teen meetups, um, teen to teens, where there's no adults, no parents, and no media coverage. Um, nobody, everybody stays anonymous and everybody does not get, like, everybody is just talking teen to teen. We have interviewers, um, only about seven or eight of us, and that's the limit we're trying to keep it at to keep the information kind of in a simple one. Seven or eight of them. Seven or eight of us, she said. Who the heck are these seven or eight people or kids? Source area that we can go to and we're we've moved locations multiple trying to make things more convenient in the tahoe area in the Truckee area we've been holding we've hold one, held one last night and then we held one tonight and we had a lot of teens come out today and explain things it's just a way for teens to not feel the pressure of getting in trouble by their parents or to feel like the cops are going to get them in trouble or to feel right. that the media will spread their face all over the internet we're just trying to get teens right. So while she's moving locations and having multiple meetings with teens so they don't have to go to their parents or get in trouble by the cops, the sheriff's department's having press conferences every other day saying they're getting no information. This is disturbing. Right. To be honest, because kids will tell kids that. who they kiss, and kids will tell <laughs> they, kids who they drank with. And... They don't want mom and dad to know what really happened at the party. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, get, I, I, get, I totally get that, and, and, that's, and that's good that you're doing and we now know that allegedly Sammy has a criminal defense attorney, according to her, and that because both her parents are attorneys, they know how this process goes. Whereas four weeks ago, she was like Clifford the dog to the fire department. Doing that, uh, Laura Truen just uh, was in the comments. Laura Truen says, you're doing a great job, Sammy. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to think, what else can you tell us that, that can help? Uh, anything specific about that car? Is there anything like, I don't know, maybe yeah. the car? Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, so um, a lot of us just remember today, because again, we weren't ever really looking severely at her vehicle when we were just friends with her, but we do all remember that she has a sticker of a bull. We don't have the exact sticker, but it, it's a sticker of a bull that is right under the windshield wiper, right the under that of a bull. is where the back windshield, the back windshield, the animal. It's a sticker of a bull, the animal, like a cow with horns. Okay. Right under the back um, windshield, windshield wiper. Okay. It's right under that. And her wow. car does have hubcaps because in a lot of these pictures, cars don't have hubcaps. Her car has Honda hubcaps. Okay. Wow. So look for that car that has a, it may have a bull uh, sticker, a sticker of a bull on the back window, that, that 2013 Honda CRV. Um, it's a silver yeah. car. And there's a sunroof a as well. And it has a sunroof. Okay, yeah. that's, that's another good t detail. So it has a sunroof and it has a bull sticker. There's a sticker of a bull, the animal, a bull, uh, on the uh, underneath the back uh, wiper, the rear wiper, the rear. Yes, right underneath it. Okay. Um, Jane Darby is wanting to ask you: uh, anyone that you notice hanging around her? Was there any anybody was hanging around her? Did you notice anybody around her? Um, to be fully honest, I was inebriated at the time, so I wasn't <laughs> I get fully it. attentive of who exactly was around us. We, again, when we were going around together, we were just in a lot of different huge groups of people we had never met. Because her and I are similar in the sense that we're both very social. We'll talk to anybody we meet. Right. We love meeting people. And so that's what we <laughs> yeah. were doing. And everything. Oh, you, you girls are amazing. I'm, I'm just impressed. But it's so sad uh, that this has happened. I I, I just, uh, man, my heart goes out to the family. I, I just, uh, you know, she's a beautiful young girl. She's only, I, I got a daughter the same age. Uh, Lord, I just, I can't imagine, uh, what they're going through. I just can't imagine. Uh, I'm just trying to think, I, I just, I'm assuming that they're checking mine shafts, uh, maybe the car went down off the road into a ravine. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but the phone, what, what about the. Still no phone that we know of. I don't know if they know that it was in the vehicle, but it's not been reported. And no, she was just 600 yards from where Sammy's sitting. How crazy is that? Phone, uh. Can you tell us about her cell phone? Is there, is there anything specific yeah. you can tell us? Go ahead. So it has a, it's, um, we're having trouble remembering what color, like my cell phone is a green phone, but I have an orange case on it. But we do know that her phone has a black case on it with a sticker on the very middle back that says sex wax on it. And it's an iPhone, not the Samsung that was found. It's an iPhone. So or, it's an iPhone. I, yeah. I forget which generation and which like number, but I can, I can post about that or something or get in contact oh, with you. Okay. Uh, real quickly, Laura Truman wants to ask you, what about pictures and social media posts? There has to be evidence. Uh, this party went down. I'm sure there's yeah. gonna be people taking photos or TikToks. I'm sure there's gotta be a TikTok video of the fight or something, right? There's gotta be something out there. Yeah. So there's, that's a little strange that the 
like two to four things that have come out allegedly from the party and half of them have been debunked that one was a TikTok of the fight at the party. Like he just specifically said, that's strange. Nothing else really came out though. Let's see what her uh, conclusion about that is at this point in time. Hundreds of videos, everybody, we have videos of people taking videos. Oh wow, we have very good. Very hundreds good. of videos, hundreds of pictures. Everybody, we've asked everybody to send us any videos and any pictures that we have, even if it's a picture that looks. Hundreds of pictures and hundreds of videos, she said. It's exactly like someone, something else sent us. It could have different angles. We are looking at an app called Be Real, which is where a lot of kids waited because the Be Real, it's an app where you can post a picture and there's two minutes um, at random points in the day. There's only one a day. And mm. it comes as a notification will pop up on your phone that says, uh, you have two minutes left to post your be real. Like everybody has, you can post it later in the time, but you're supposed to post in that time. We're looking at everybody's be reels. Cause How convenient they all use the be real app that apparently gives you an appointed time and two minutes to post your videos. And she said they were all waiting until their be reels gave them the alert that it's their time of the day to post. So other than that, they didn't take pictures and video. Come on now. So we know a lot of people waited until they were at that party to post their B-reels. So we're looking for people to look back in their snap memories of anybody that we can see in those videos, anybody that we can see in those B-reels. We are looking at Instagram posts, photos taken on video cameras, photos taken on Snapchat, videos on all of these and everything. Okay. Uh, she lived fa fairly close. Is this, is this picture correct? Is, she was about 12 miles away. Uh, the Prosser family campground was roughly about 12 miles from her, from her yeah, house. Is that correct? That, that dot is not exactly where she was located. It's a little bit more to the right and towards the little okay. blue lake that you can see up from it. Um, it was a little bit closer to that lake, but definitely that's about, yeah, it would have taken about 30 minutes for her. We... So everybody says that that's her explaining where Kylie was, and it is a little eerie. And I see in the map, she is right, that they're closer to the northwest of the map. The, there's like a blue corner that sticks out. So I don't think that's necessarily her... Freudian slipping that that's where she's at but I mean it could be I guess we've found out about approximately 30 minutes for her to drive that way 38 uh, maybe this, this is crazy I mean you know her being a friend I mean your thoughts on her running away is would she have a reason to run away uh I, I'm just I'm just trying to come up with anything that I mean it's just uh, what are your thoughts on that I mean what do you think to be fully honest from what I believe about Kylie all ideas are still open in the air but she's not the type of girl to run away. She loves people too much and she has too much care in her heart to leave people and not leave a note or talk with one of her friends or something. And I, she is, she is. Yeah. Look how she stuttered when that comment came on the screen. Wow. Smart enough to know how this would get out and that people would be worried about her. And she's a smart girl. She graduated with honors early from high school. That's my biggest question is she was smart, but and her and her mom had the relationship to where if she were drinking and she didn't want to drive. She would call her mom. Her mom stated that. So why not this night? And yeah. was going to attend college, and she had plans for her life, and she seemed really happy. She and, was, and I'm sure she wouldn't want to put her mom through this. No, her mom. Her mom just is destroyed. Her um, mom. Is in her, life. her mom is fully invested in her life. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I can see that. I can see she's got very loving parents, and I can tell this is hard on them. And like I said, our thoughts and our prayers are with the family. We really want the. We really want the best. We want Kylie to be found. Uh, DG's asking you. I think well, saying. I think she's in the water in the car, drove into water. Have they checked the water? The I'm sure they probably have, but uh, is there yeah. anything you can tell us about, you know, have they sent dive teams in, do you know, or anything like that? Or Yeah, so there have been dive teams sent in, and I can pretty much only say they've done thorough, thorough searches through the waters, through the lake surrounding. They are... Oh, yeah, thorough, thorough search, all right. Searching the waters. They are searching the campgrounds and everywhere, related lakes that are near, because Boca and Stampede are two reservoirs that are near there as well, and they are doing searches through there every single day they have been for the past three days they have done extensive searches to points that you wouldn't yeah. even believe the fbi and those people oh. yeah because the first two days they hadn't really started searching the reservoirs and this is now go the fifth day oh, I, they are going. I, I i'm i'm impressed with what i've seen i've seen some of the uh some of the the photos of the uh, search guy the search and rescue crews out there the volunteers and no I, i've seen they got a heavy presence they're, they're working it they're definitely working yeah. it um and we're so the thankful to them Oh yeah, yeah. They're 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 definitely uh, working hard to try to find her, and and we you know watch the flight patterns. They got a helicopter. I don't know. Can you comment on the helicopter? Is there something? Is there a reason they're they're flying in that area? Uh, yeah. I don't know. 
What's going on? Go ahead. Yeah, so they're flying helicopters around those areas because um, if they, they're shining spotlights down to see if there's any reflection to find her car, to see if they see anybody. We're taught here. Look at that flight plan. They went over that area so much that it's almost entirely bold. Wow. Here in Truckee, that during the winter, in case there's an avalanche or you're trapped out in the winter, that you can shine a reflective light, like using your phone screen and shining it towards the sun to say an SOS or to let helicopters and airplanes know that you are out there and to signal somebody from the ground if you're able to. That's something we're taught from a very young age in our school system. Be very and interesting. So, That's very good. Yeah. I, I, I never knew that. That's very no, it's very interesting. You, stop, you taught me something. Yeah. <laughs> I live in the desert. We don't worry about snow. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but, no, but no, I know where you're at. I've been there. I've been there a bunch of times and I know they get a ton of snow up there. It's just crazy. Yeah. But no, that that makes perfect sense. But so they're flying around looking. So the car's nowhere in the area. She's got to be out there somewhere. Can you share your own, your your honest thoughts or opinion as to what you think may have happened to her? Do you, can, do you care to share that? To be fully honest, my biggest concern is that somebody and I've said this in other interviews, somebody knew she was drunk offered to give her a ride home and they didn't give her a ride home and they could be across the world at this point with how long she's been gone and I'm just I'm worried that I have a feeling and obviously I don't know I have a feeling that she's still alive and she's still out there and she's still fighting but that there's somebody else involved and that's not confirmed that I'd love to hear who she thinks is there somebody else involved? And these kids have a really naive mindset as far as Jagger saying he still thinks she's alive. Sammy saying she'll, she still thinks she's alive, yet has the idea that somebody took her millions of miles away. It doesn't make sense to me. Oh, but yet they're not naive or childish when it comes to their partying. They party like college students just what i believe I, I think there has to be somebody else involved in this but uh, it's, yeah it's 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 just so sad i uh you know uh ronda's wanting to ask you did she wear an apple watch do you know did she wear an apple watch no i don't believe so i don't uh, remember ever seeing her wear one i don't I, it's not something I pay really close attention to. And we're not the type to be like oh look at what i have on my wrist i'm so rich you know so <laughs> yeah i know you, you, you girl look at what i have on my wrist i'm so rich that's weird those are amazing. You, you seem like wonderful people. And I'm so sorry that you're going through this. Uh, Romans 125-26 wants to know, was there any cameras at the campground going into the campground? Is there any cameras no. there? No, no there's cameras. no cameras out there. The closest cameras would be the traffic cameras that start on I-80 uh, near the rec center. It's hard to describe exactly where, but I think it's on Truckee Way. But it's 89 is very um, um, covered in cameras. There's not okay. a lot of cameras out there. Sh uh, Shaney Jones wants to ask you, on your last that part always struck me weird, how she knows <laughs> exactly where all the cameras are and where they stretch to as far as where they um, have cameras and to where they don't, the extent that they do and don't. That's a little compulsive. Maybe she's just more sophisticated, but as a teen, I couldn't tell you where any traffic cameras were other than red light ones. And they I don't think they hardly even existed when I was a teen call did she let you know who the quote-unquote friend was that was driving her home yeah so this is a common misconception um she was not being driven home and she was not driving so okay a common misconception five days after she'd been missing three days into the actual search and there's already misconceptions and how she starts to say it is it no wonder there's misconceptions she just said girl wasn't that kylie wasn't driving home or wasn't driving but we're meant to believe that, according to Sammy, she was not well enough to drive Sammy home. And so Sammy got another ride and just hoped Kylie got a ride safe or slept there. This whole part. This whole part. At the end of the party when she called, when I saw her, I, she was supposed to give me a ride home because I had asked her to give me a ride home because I wanted to stay later. I then realized later in the party that I believe she was drunk. And I knew she was drunk, and so I did not want her to be driving me home um, because I, you know, I know about drunk drivers and all that. And so <laughs> I, Smart. yeah, and I figured she would be staying there. Smart enough to know drunk drivers, but too inconsiderate to know that your friend shouldn't be the drunk driver and just leave her. <sighs> or she would find a ride home because she's a smart girl. She's smart enough to know just she's smart. And so um then uh, 
That's either denial as a coping mechanism or sociopathic. Not at all reflecting on the fact that you knew that she was too drunk to drive you home, but just hope the best for her getting home on her own. Uh, I found her as I was leaving the party. I was making sure to find her, to tell her that I had another ride home and that um, I loved her and I want to say bye and for her to have fun at the party. And Okay, so this is the part that never makes sense to me. The fact that Kylie and her, she found Kylie to tell Kylie she found another ride home, but apparently Kylie also calls her to make sure that she has another ride home. So I'm going to listen click carefully. I wonder if she's lying about finding her before she left the party and that she didn't just leave. And now she feels bad because of what happened. So she's just saying she made sure, but that she never did tell her in person that she was leaving. And that's why Kylie calls to see if she left because she had. Then when I left the party, we were all, we were pretty much on 89 with my ride. And um, she called me as I was in the car in the passenger seat. And she was like, hey, uh, where are you? Do you, you still need a ride home? And I was like, no, I'm OK. Like, I'm in the car right now. I'm. Dry, uh, like getting driven home now. I'm driving, I'm being driven home. That part's a little sketchy. But Kylie did not have a set ride home and she, I was under the impression that she would either sleep there or find another ride home. Um, and I, it, it was not known that anybody was going to give her a ride home. She was not, when she called me, she was not in a car. I could hear the party and people, many people talking in the background. Oh, wow. Uh, so we don't really have a lot to go on then as far as where she could be. There's no. Uh... So Kylie just so happens to get that last call before her phone dies. That's so crazy. Nothing. To, so we're just going to keep uh, following this. And uh, it's very possible that maybe somebody did abduct her, that maybe somebody was watching her. I mean, it's just a sad possibility, but my goodness, our yeah. hearts. Uh, I, so I, I, I don't know, is there anything else? So during this period, it's to me, it appears that Sammy's definitely convinced that something nefarious happened. She is not giving off signals that she thinks it was an accident whatsoever. I wonder if that had all changed throughout the investigation. And we allegedly saw her partying the night before the laptop was found. These kids don't have a dependency problem. What else you like to say before we let you go? I know you're busy. I don't want to keep you tied up with us, but I, I greatly appreciate all your time. Uh, Sammy, you're an amazing girl. I know you got a great future ahead of you. Stay strong. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, what's your final words? Uh, if, if Sammy's, if, say Sammy's out there watching this right now, just perhaps she's out there watching. If, if there's anything you could say to Sammy uh, right now, what would you say to her? Um, it's Kylie just, just by the way, but. If Kylie's out there watching I'm this. I'm sorry, Kylie, I mean, yeah. I apologize. I, I'm, I just, my mind's going a thousand miles an hour. It's just, this is very emotional, yeah. but no, I'm sorry, Kylie. Thank Kylie. you, thank you. Yeah, no, it's totally fine. Um, if Kylie were out here watching this, I would just want you to know, we are doing everything to try and find her. We are contacting, we are making this go worldwide. We will find her. We will find what is happening and we just want her home. We don't want to get anybody in trouble. We don't, we just want her home. We, we love her and we would do anything to see her again. I don't believe she loves her. Maybe she wants to, but that just didn't look natural to me. It looked forced. Um, yeah, I don't know. doesn't mean she's guilty. I just think she's saying what she thinks people want her to say. I personally, I just want to drink a boba with her again and laugh and tell the story. And when I see her, I'm going to absolutely tackle her to the ground but i'm going to give her the most love that she's ever felt and i hope she knows she's loved this whole community is looking for her the whole world at this point is looking for kylie kylie if 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 you're out there and you can hear this please fight keep fighting don't give up we are coming we are working we will not stop working i will stay up day and night i have her completely we want you home we maybe she tripped up right there but it is strange that she says we have her completely I don't know what else she could have meant to say. I just want you home. And yeah. Very very good. Sam, Sammy, uh, I'm so sorry that you're going through this. I'm so sorry the family's going through this. Uh, I greatly appreciate your time. You're, you're, you're a beautiful person. You're a beautiful friend. I know you got a bright future ahead of you. Um, stay you. strong. Keep doing what you're doing. I mean, you're, you're getting it out there. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just so impressed with you. You're, you're, uh, I'm sure your parents are very proud and they raised you right. So.
Thank you right. so much. Sammy, you. okay. All right. You take care. And thank you once again for, for allowing us to have you. Of All course. Right. Thank you for helping cover this. You're welcome. Take care. So that was that. Maybe you noticed more than I did. If you did, you can say so in the comments. I'm not trying to have like comments full of bash in her. I just wanted to reanalyze it. I was on vacation for uh, the middle of the beginning. So I was only watching things in bits and pieces. So I just wanted to um, take another look and see what it's worth. If it wasn't an accident, I'm praying for justice for Kylie and comfort for her family.